Hey girl, hey, it's Nita and welcome back to another vlog. Now we're kicking off this vlog with a little mini haul of things that are perfect for going outside, whatever shenanigans you have planned for this upcoming spring and summer season, whether it's a wedding, birthday, whatever it is where you want to look a little extra cute while we're going outside and enjoying the beautiful weather, okay? This portion of the video is sponsored by Lulu's. I did pick up three dresses, a pair of shoes, and a couple of accessories that I think you guys are going to love. So without further ado, do let me get into the off so first I'm going to start by sharing the dress that I'm currently wearing it was the color that sold me and you guys know how I feel about ruffles and little details like that I love this dress I am wearing a size 1x and um, I love the way it fits it does flow and I thought that this was great for the spring and summer season because it's flowy it's fun it's not fitted um, this is giving me brunch vibes or just a day date or anything where you want to just look fun and flirty and cute um, in the video, you'll see I did pair with these yellow um, tie-up heels that I picked up from Lulu's. I am a huge fan of Lulu's shoes. They always have really cute shoes at an affordable price, and they're typically pretty comfortable. So I did pick these up. Um, I would suggest to maybe go up half a size because the front is a square toe. Um, my toe like hits right at that square. And so I wish I would have sized up just a half size. So I would maybe suggest that, you know, if you maybe have longer toes like I do. Outside of that, love the shoes. They're very comfortable. It does have a little bit of a heel, but it's not um, too bad. Um, I'm actually wearing them right now. I'm standing up recording this video and my feet are just fine. So would highly recommend. Love these shoes. They do come in a few different colors. So if you don't want to do yellow, you can do another beautiful color for the spring. And I paired it with my new favorite bag. You guys, how beautiful is this clutch? She is gorgeous. I love the colors. I love the beading on the bag. It is beautiful, you guys. Love, love, love this bag. And so I thought this goes great together, again, just for like a cute, nice spring, summer, flowy um, type of look. It's giving me brunch vibes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if it's giving you brunch or where you will wear this to. But I love this dress. I also feel like you can wear this, of course, with flats. You can pair this with wedges. You can do this with a few different things. So I love this dress and I think it's kind of a staple for that uh, summer flowy, flirty type of vibe. Next, I picked up a little black dress from Lulu's. I feel like a little black dress will take you a long way in your wardrobe, whether it's spring, summer, winter, or fall. I'm wearing this one in a size 1X. It does have quite a bit of stretch. Not enough where I would say to go up a size. I just say to get your normal size, but just letting you guys know the fit. It is a bodycon dress. Now this, it's perfect for the spring and summer because um, although it has long sleeves, it's not a super thick material. I would not say it's like see-through or anything like that, but it is a nice enough material where you can wear it in the spring and maybe early summer. Here in Texas, I wouldn't wear it late into the summer because I just don't want to wear black in the summer here. But I think spring and early summer, this will be nice. Although it does have long sleeves, I like the fact that, you know, it is a mini dress, so we're showing leg, but it's at the same time, it's, it's short, but it's not too short, if you know what I mean. Um, it's enough leg that I'm comfortable with showing, and I don't feel like as I walk, I'm going to be pulling the dress down, because we ain't got time for that, honey. So, to give a little color, because it is black, I paired it with that same beaded clutch from Lulu's, and the shoes that I'm wearing in the video are actually from Lulu's. I will link them down below if they're still available. I did get these last year, but I thought the color would go nice with the bag and again just give it a pop of color because it is spring and summer and it is a black dress so. last but certainly not least i picked up this teal dress from lulu's i am wearing a size 1x in this one and this gave me um wedding vibes like i will wear this as a guest to a wedding i will wear this going out for like a birthday dinner or a celebration um it is a little short so we're giving a little leg but it's not too short in my opinion the, the shortest point of the dress is where it crosses in the front and again, you guys know I'm five foot two. I'm short, so for me, it's okay. I would say if you're a taller beauty, you just need to be comfortable showing leg because it's giving leg, okay? <laughs> the only other thing I want to note about this dress is that the straps are not adjustable. So if you need that, then be mindful. This dress does not have adjustable straps. You would have to get them tailored or altered if you would need to, um, like, make them tighter or, you know, whatever have you. Now, I did pair this with some silver heel heels that I picked up from Lulu's again last year. If they are available, I will link them down below. And then I paired it with this clutch that I got from Lulu's in this haul. Um, another beaded clutch. I love the details of this clutch, you guys. It is stunning. It is beautiful. And I think something like this is nice to have in your wardrobe. Just 
you know, for that time when you need a little extra something. I love the bronze and silver and gold detailing. And then the back has like gold, um, gold specks, but it is a, it's like a linen type of material. I'm not sure how it's showing up on camera, but this is a stunning bag. I am very pleased with both of the bags that I picked up. I'm pleased with everything that I picked up in this haul. Like there's nothing that I don't love, um, but I'm really, really, really excited about these bags, um, especially this one. I love it. So I will have everything linked down below for you guys. Again, if I have, if I can find a link to the orange and pink shoes that I purchased, um, and the silver ones that I got last year, if I can have, if I can find a link to those, I will put them in the description box. But of course, all the other items I did get recently, and they will be linked down below. Again, huge thank you to Lulu's for sponsoring this portion of the video. And without further ado, let's get into my weekend shenanigans. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another vlog. Happy Friday. Um, this is going to be a weekend vlog. Um, this weekend, I have a lot going on, and I thought I would bring you guys along because I've been doing a lot of hanging out for my girl Bridget's birthday. Um, currently, I'm in the car as usual. Sorry for all the bumps. There's a lot of bumps in the road right now. But, um, but yeah, I'm in the car as usual. I feel like I spent half of my life in the car. I finally got Jada off to school. She did not want to get up this morning. I don't blame her. It's Friday. I don't want to get up either. And I went to bed late last night um, because I was up editing a video that's going up today. So there's a surprise video. Um, so I don't, I don't think I really upload on Fridays typically. But um, part one of our new Style Basics 101 series is going up today in an hour. When it goes up, I'll actually be in therapy, so I won't get to see the responses or the views or whatever until after I get out of therapy. But I'm excited. I hope you guys like it. Um, I really enjoyed um, putting together this series. Um, right now, I have four ideas for the series. I plan to continue it further, but I try not to just think too far ahead because then I get overwhelmed. So, um, but yeah, I hope you guys like it. Comment down below and let me know if you looked at it and if you did enjoy the video. But I do hope that you guys like that series and that you find it helpful. Um, but yeah, so I'm headed to therapy. And then after therapy, I get my nails and toes done. After that, I am going to look at uh, possibly order my couch uh, there will be a home update I'm gonna share that with you guys later when I can like sit down and talk um, so we have a home update and then um, so yeah I had the lady anyway I, I might be ordering my couch today and then uh, what else do I have going on oh we're going to happy hour for Bridget's birthday her actual birthday is today so we're going to happy hour today and then we may go somewhere else after happy hour hang out and then tomorrow we're going to dinner um, for her birthday and then Sunday I'll probably go to brunch Jada will be gone this weekend so and I'm gonna try to hang out and kick it but I also need to um, I need to film a video for Sunday because you guys won't see this until maybe next Sunday I don't know when this video is gonna go up but it'll be sometime next week but it won't be Sunday uh, so yeah that's what we got going on a jam-packed weekend a jam-packed day um, y'all I hope my makeup looks okay y'all I am out of my brow pencil so I had to use literally the nub the little piece of nub that was left to try to do something with my brows thank God you know I have some type of brow but girl I hate not having no brow pencil I can't believe myself that I ran out of brow pencil I always have a backup literally always except for today so I think they actually look pretty good for what I was able to do so um, there's that. I know the lighting sucks, but it is what it is. We're in the car. I'm trying to think of what else I need to share with you guys. Um, yeah, I got my little halo braid today because I need to take my braids out, but I don't feel like it. I just had too much to do and I haven't had the time to take them down and, and I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair in the meantime because I want some more braids, but the lady is booked. You know, summertime, I should have been on my appointment earlier, but anyway, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair. I was rushing this morning, did not get to lay my little edges down over here, but it is what it is. She's still cute. Um, That's it. I intended on doing a get ready with me this morning, but y'all, I didn't, I got up a little later than my usual, but then, like I said, Jada was so cranky this morning. 
um, and I was just trying to get her in good spirits. I do not like taking her to school when she's cranky or in a bad mood. And um, so I really spent time like trying to get her, you know, in a better mood before I took her to school. So that's another reason why we were late today because I didn't want to drop her off, you know, in a bad mood. And I didn't have to. I didn't have to be over on this side of town until 10. So we had time to, you know, get her up and get her spirits lifted this morning. So. In Jesus' name, she will have an amazing day. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I'll check back in with y'all later on at some point in the day. Because um, we have a lot to do. So I'll be bringing you guys along. So I just got my nails done. I'm going to show y'all now that I put some lotion on my hands. So I got a new set and just I wanted some color for um, the spring because that's how I felt. I've been doing a lot of nudes and neutrals, so I wanted some color. So, and I got French on my toes. You guys saw it. I did do a video, but my hands were so ashy because um, I hadn't washed them yet and they hadn't like oiled them. So. Um, but yeah, nails are done. We had therapy this morning. Now I'm about to grab some um, tacos from like the Taco Cabana over here. Honey, the little margaritas at the nail salon be having me feeling lovely, honey. Sis is feeling lovely right now. I need some food I haven't ate this morning. Um, I had a Pop-Tart this morning just because I didn't have time to make breakfast and I needed to take my vitamins, so... If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I went to get a checkup recently because I've been so tired. I'm always tired. So I thought it was possibly my iron because I have suffered with anemia in the past, but it was actually my vitamin D. And a lot of you guys said that it is common in African-American women to have low vitamin D. And then I think we usually have low vitamin D in the, uh, I guess the winter months is not a lot of sun. But yes, yeah, mine was extremely low. So I do have a prescription um, vitamin D that I take once a week on top of my other, my multivitamin and my, um, what's the other vitamin for? Like bacteria, gut health, what is it? Probiotic. <laughs> so anyway, I needed to take those and I cannot take them on an empty stomach. It makes me so nauseous to do it on an empty stomach. So um, I just had a Pop-Tart this morning and so now it is 1 45 and i'm starving and i had two margaritas at the nail shop girl so sis is feeling lovely but i gotta get some food in my stomach because in a minute my eyes could be crossed <laughs> so um it's a taco cabana right here and i'm gonna get what is this little pizza place i don't think it's open hmm. but yeah i'm gonna get some um tacos from the taco cabana then i'm going to the furniture place i believe i'm going to go ahead and order my couch from bassett i think it's how you pronounce it bassett bassett whatever furniture company um i went a couple weeks ago and i meant to vlog but i just was kind of out and about child i went looking at furniture a couple of weeks ago and there was one couch that i did love um and it was at i think it was pottery barn but y'all those people said that their couches take 36 weeks right now to come in. I said 36 weeks like the time it takes to bake a baby? Are you serious? No. It's, it's a strong no for me. And so as I was just looking at different furniture places in the area, I walked in there and I fell in love with the couch. They had the performance fabric that I want. They had the... Um, I forget what the couch would be made of. I think it's down. Whatever it is, it's, it's comfortable, but at the same time, the couch won't get that worn look. I know so many people love like the cloud couch from, um, is it Restoration Hardware that has the cloud couch? I think that's just a little bit too casual for me. Like I want it to be comfortable. I do want my space to look and feel comfortable and cozy. However, I don't want my couch to look like 
it's gonna sink in you know what i'm saying like i want it to look still nice and firm even though it's comfortable so they had a couch that had that fabric or that material stuffing i don't know what it's called but it had that that i'm looking for and right now their production is 12 to 18 weeks which is definitely doable um so i believe i'm going to order my couch from there the only space that i have now went to look for a couch is living spaces because it's in grand prairie and that's not close to me um i still want to go look i still may possibly go look but um i'm kind of overlooking and i just kind of feel like if they have the couch that i want and you know it's uh reasonably priced if it's in the budget then i'll just go ahead and order from there because i don't know what living spaces um production time is right now you know so many furniture companies their production time right now is is ridiculously long of course due to you know everything that's going on in the world uh supply shortages wood shortages etc so um but yeah i have an appointment there at 2 30 and then after that i'll probably go ahead and meet up with bridger early just stay on this side of town because the only other thing i have to do is go to her um birthday uh happy hour we're starting happy hour and continuing on through the day oh i actually need to go to sephora i think i told y'all oh, i'm about to pass up the taco cabana i cannot do that jesus because i need some food um, I need to go by Sephora because I think I told y'all I'm out of my eyebrow pencil and that is a no-no. I normally always have a backup of eyebrow pencil and foundation, but I'm actually out of my backups. That's not acceptable. So we need to go to Sephora. I have not actually ordered anything from the sale. And so, hi, can I have um, two soft tacos, um, one chicken fajita and one shredded chicken? Hold on, um, that's it. And I just want beans and cheese on there. No lettuce and no tomato. Thank you. But, um, yeah, so probably just do the furniture store sephora and then go meet up with bridget and probably honestly by the time i leave sephora it'll probably just be time for happy hour depending on how long it takes at the furniture store but um yeah my face is probably all kinds of oily i can't really tell the sun is really shining on this viewfinder so i can't tell how i'm looking um i brought my touch up powder because i knew it was gonna be yeah i'm super oily in here so i need to touch up my face but yeah um that's all right now girl gotta get some food in my system because those margaritas did me right on today okay happy friday to me but <laughs> um all right let me go ahead and get some food and eat while i make it to the furniture store and i'll check back in with you guys once we make it there i'm gonna need safety tell her i can't snake you break gun off safety my girl so tasty, tell her it's your world She want the two-tone spaceship, blow smoke screen daily So the stress don't face me, I'm going, I keep it factual I'm on sabbatical, I'm out of Central America I need a break from hysteria, park like the one with the carousel I get it lit in your area, I'm locked to the vision It couldn't be clear, you couldn't pay me to care enough I dare you to hate me, supreme with the sound through the stereo So turn it up loud when you hearing us, we live and it's good in your area My mama proud, she tearing up and it's going down Got your girl aroused by these massive stacks like a hundred pounds Running big laps till the sun is down like a hundred miles. Tenant frames on me, leaning down. I'm winning now. Been a while, you ain't like me then, but how you like me now? Red one, if I hold you down, I'ma keep it there till we in the ground. Jet black when I paint the town, only blue sheets when they pay me now. Treat a setback like a step back. Wave, I got the game in a vice grip. Way up when the virus clear. All the homies on the flight list. Rebelly gifted, take the plot that I twisted. Got a big lit. Sex with the incense, got my mind rants, so won't stop from relentless. I'ma need safety. Tell her I can't snake you. Ray gun off safety. My girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily. So the stress don't face me. I'm going. I want a grill for the mouthpiece. So write that a light on my face. Your shawty just call me a fave. Cause she like my character traits. I never stop for a break. I put a lock on the game. I put a stock in my name. But I give a f about the fame. I took a bite out of life and a taste of exquisite. It feel like you do when you look in my pendant. 
hopeless romantic, my girl chin up for the kid, I'm not on no simps Won't stop to the youngest, he dreams, wanna take him from rags to riches I heard that you claim that you know me, but you ain't the homie, the f is your friend shit I need the lords, he back up the royalty, I give a f if you notice me Ain't nobody holding me, big wave at your short line so they know it's me Babe boy from the coast Hello you guys, happy Saturday, I'm in the car again with my mom You wanna say hey mom, you wanna be on camera? Hi You wanna say hey? Say hi mom Hi. <laughs> and we're headed to do some more furniture shopping. She's going with me to Living Spaces. I think I told y'all yesterday um, we're going to go to Living Spaces and we probably go to West Elm just to see what they have because I haven't been. And then we might go to Nebraska Furniture Mart. I didn't tell her that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about Nebraska Furniture Mart though because they say it's really big and I get overwhelmed when there's too many options. But we're gonna go to living spaces first because from what I saw online it looked like they have a lot of a lot more of what I'm looking for. But I figured since we're in the car and we have a little piece to drive that I would give you guys a house update because I hadn't. So I was telling my mom, y'all, I haven't I've been vlogging about the house, but it's I just been saving it for my own personal. But anyway, so I have a house under contract. It is the house that I told you guys that I love and that we had an appointment to go put under contract and then they stopped uh, making those houses because of uh, something that they're missing for the foundation, um, for those homes, for those homes. You know, there's supply shortage and everything. So whatever they're, um, they're missing, there we go. They're missing a piece. Um, there's a shortage of whatever they need for the foundation for the two-story homes. And my house is a, a one and a half story, I think is what it's considered. There's like a loft upstairs. So anyhow, um, my realtor's client uh, decided not to move forward with her contract, which is how I was able to get this contract, which I'm very excited about. Um, so I was a little nervous about it just because um, since she already started the house, I was not able to like select my own custom so I went to see what she selected to see if I would want it and she literally chose everything that I would have chosen with the exception of the front door and it's too late for me to change it apparently and then um, the tile in the kitchen I would have chose something different but of course those are minor things that I can always change and I plan to change because I know for sure I do want to do a renovation on the bathrooms at some point um, because these are not custom homes these are they're new builds but they're like in a master plan community right so there's like certain things that you can choose and all that kind of stuff so um, there are things that I already knew from the beginning that I want to that I would want to upgrade and change as you know time goes on so yeah she chose everything that I wanted um, with the exception of the front door and the kitchen backsplash, which is not that big of a deal. So, the house has been under contract for what, over a month now? Yes. Has it been about two months, Mo? I think it's about two months. Yes. It's been under contract for about two months, and I'm very excited about it. But yeah, I hadn't shared that with you guys. Um, so, there's that house update. Uh, right now, it is scheduled to be done sometime in July. It was supposed to be late May, early June, but there were some delays with the HVAC and then I had to choose another brick because there was an issue with the original brick that was chosen. Um, so yeah, I still, I don't think it'll be later than like early July because there it's, you know, it's been going going pretty well. Um, but yeah, so sometime in July, they say um, we should be moving, which is great. You guys know I wanted to be moved by the time Jada starts school and school starts here at the end of August. So that's, we love that for me. We love that for me, right, Mom? Yes. <laughs> you have anything to add? Mm -hmm. I looked, I wanted them houses over there is what I looked at where those town halls are 425. It's ridiculous. I love the area though, but not my no, it's just not like no. I'm talking about like three story. I'm sorry, not three story, three bedroom. It's about the square footage of my apartment, but it's two levels. Mm -hmm. No, for 425 base base price. Mm -hmm. no. It's crazy. Um, do you have anything to add? I'm very excited for you guys. I'm very excited. I'm happy. Love the house. Can't wait. Have my own bedroom. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so 
I've been back and forth about the house a little bit due to the location. I love the location. It's just far from where I live currently and my family. Um, and then you guys know right now the interest rates are increasing. So at this point, we're just believing God that all is well. And that's just where I'm, where I'm going to be. Because my mom was. She's tripping. We all have a car. What'd you say, Ma? <laughs> I don't know why she's tripping. We all have cars. She lived in Aslan before we came with no problem. We can do it again. Yeah. Yeah, I called my mom. Was I crying or was I just frustrated? Either way, she did everything but cuss me out. <laughs> about, yes, I do always. <laughs> about why I was tripping or worrying about certain things. So, so it's above me now it's in god's hands it's been above me not not in a negative way it's been in god's hands i've been praying about the entire situation because i believe that god aligned things for me to even get to the point of putting the house under contract so you know what's meant to be for us will be for us and i believe that this is the house for us so there's that so yeah um that's the house update so in a few months we should be moving uh, Alright, that's about it. We're going to get on to one of these furniture stores and I'll hop back on when we get there. Y'all, yeah, mom was telling me she liked my video. It still amazes me that she watches my stuff like, like I'm not her whole daughter. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so anyway, we finally made it to Living Spaces. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sun is killing me. I guess I could have put some sunglasses on. My locker door. Y'all put my keys in my purse. Oh, okay. I love the fact that it does not look ridiculously large like Nebraska, like Nebraska Furniture Mart. Um, but it is... It does look huge though. I'm excited to see what they have. Let me know in the comments if y'all have been to Living Space. I've never been. So I don't even know if y'all can hear me. It's so windy actually. Good. All right, you guys. So we just left Living Spaces. I didn't film everything because we really, I really 
wanted to look at the furniture and not focus on getting footage but girl i don't know if y'all can tell my eyes are a little tight because they had two dollar mimosas i showed y'all the little cafe portion they have mimosas and uh they have a coffee bar at the bar at the portion we were they had mimosas cappuccinos and something else huh something else and i think they had like light bites over there honey but that was <laughs> i'm feeling lovely okay so we're gonna tell you guys our little review how did you like living spaces mom living spaces was very very nice very, it was very nice. nice and the, the prices furniture. are very reasonable yes um it really reminds me of like a home goods on steroids yeah like with like full on you yeah. know um i just couldn't i again i've never been in living spaces i don't i'd heard of them i you know but i'd never looked into it so i didn't know what the prices was i'd never been to the location so um very reasonable pricing um and what i do like the guy was telling us when we went in there so first of all they have two dollar mimosas i gotta start there two dollar mimosas and cappuccinos and it was <coughs> a something else they had and you can have your drink and walk around the store so that was nice but aside from that i did like the fact that they have most of their items in warehouse so they don't have like that crazy wait time if things are out of stock, they're just out of stock. If there is a wait time, it's either either 49 days or 59 days, right? Yes. So there won't be a possibility of you having to wait months and months. I mean, at that point, it'll just be out of stock. They won't have it. So that is a great option. So if you are in the market for furniture and you like, you know, what they have at Living Spaces, if that's your vibe, they had a whole outdoor space. I sh you guys should have seen like those... Um, what do they call them i think egg chairs eggshell chairs. Egg chairs whatever mm -hmm. the the chairs outside they had nice little fire pits to go outside because i'm interested in one of those for the patio um they had all kind of i didn't see a dining room table that i liked but they had those in there um a lot of i would say this stuff is more contemporary not super modern they had a lot of contemporary a lot of traditional um not super modern in my opinion so if you like very very modern I wouldn't say to come here. I would say to come here if you like more contemporary and more traditional uh, furniture. I, I would consider myself more the contemporary person. I like modern stuff, but not too modern because to me it feels cold. So um, like if you like RH vibes, I don't necessarily think this is the place for you. I mean, it's nice, but it's not RH modern. That's like super modern, again, in my opinion. So yeah i liked it it was cool and i like the fact that you know again what you have or if they have something that you like either to be out of stock or to be 49 or 59 days or they may have it in stock um if you have to get something customized meaning you want a different um like what fabric options fabric and stuff options. like that if mm -hmm. it's customized okay. it'll be the it'll, it will either be 49 or 59 days you won't have to wait you know longer than that so that was good to know um i did find a couch option that i do like i just need to do some research because it is an ivory couch and i really really wanted the performance fabric and the scotch guard and all that kind of stuff so they only it didn't have all that built in so i have to see if there's a way that i can treat the fabric uh, but the price was very reasonable it was like three thousand dollars yes and it was really nice so We'll see. It's much better than seven, okay? Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go to West Elm, and then I don't know if we're gonna go to Nebraska. I just don't feel like it, honey. Um, but yeah, and then we're gonna get some lunch because I'm hungry. You hungry? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll check back in with y'all after we go. I think to West Elm. You always make me feel like I'm Get away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you
take the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain holds you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you Yeah, you You always make me feel like home Yeah, you You never leave my thoughts alone Yeah, you You're the reason I'm going out of my mind I just much later in the day actually like 9 40 which I'm supposed to be leaving here at I'm sorry it's 8 40 supposed to be leaving here at nine o'clock um we are going to Bridget's birthday dinner and we're supposed to be there at nine but girl yesterday I did my due diligence I showed up on time to get the table because I knew she was running late and I waited an hour on them so tonight is not my night to be present on time okay <laughs> so I had planned to leave my house at nine because you know how you know your friends. I'm not the on time friend, but I also know my friends that are not on time. She is that friend that is not on time. So I was like, I'll leave my house at nine, but it's not, it's 840. I'm really hoping to leave my house by 915, honestly. It ain't gonna take me long to do my hair. I am dressed. I have on a robe over my dress just to make sure that I don't get any makeup on my clothes. So, you know, I showered, I dressed lotioned pack my bag um like my you know i just have i'm wearing like a clutch so i went ahead and you know put my id in there my card all of that good stuff so once i'm done with my hair and makeup i can go ahead and skedaddle out the door i'm over the halo braid i'm really over these braids as a whole and i need to take them down i just <sighs> i don't feel like it i'm not gonna tell y'all that i searched <laughs> I searched, part of the reason I'm running behind is because I searched a good 20 minutes for my shapewear, like my panty shapewear. So I have, you know, like my normal shorts shapewear. Um, and then I have a panty one. And the dress that I'm wearing is a little short, but um, so I put on the shorts and they were a little too long. So I was like, all right, I'll go ahead and put my panty shapewear on. And girl, I mean, I searched high and low, couldn't find it or thought I couldn't find it. Why was it in the same place that I left it, like where I took them off? And I literally walk past that area in my room 50 times while I was looking for the shapewear. So nonetheless, I finally found my shapewear, but that's why I'm running behind getting ready. Um, but yeah, so we are going to Monarch, which I'm very excited about. I've been before. I've been once before on a date. Um, it was really good. It's an Italian restaurant, but it's in this hotel building. Well, it's like it's a hotel, restaurants, resi I mean, hotel and residential building, but it's a nice building downtown. They have amazing views. So I'm excited. Oh, I need a ponytail. All right, I'm back. So I still couldn't find a ponytail holder. So quick hack, if you have braids and you're ever out of a ponytail holder, you can't find one, take a braid from the middle and wrap it around like really really tight and it'll make like a little makeshift uh ponytail holder so that's what i did so i'm about to do a bun um i, I really should have just probably left my halo braid just like redid it and made it cuter but i was just over it um and it was starting to itch my face um hair on my face does start to irritate me like synthetic hair on my face which is why like I wear closure wigs and not frontals because even the lace irritates my skin. That's why I don't really do frontal units. I do closure units because there's only a little bit of lace like right here. When there's any time I put lace here, it irritates me. So that's why I don't really wear frontals because that lace and uh, synthetic hair irritates my skin on my face. So um, why did I tell y'all that? No particular reason, just, you know, sharing. Sharing is caring, I guess. Anywho, 
Um, and then this bun is gonna irritate me too. Oh my gosh, I hate rushing. I hate rushing. I hate rushing. And the thing is, I was actually home in time. Like, I finally made it home from out and about with my mama. I think I showed y'all, we went to Legacy West. We went to West Elm, where I found a couch that I really love. It's still, you know, a bit more than I wanted to pay, but they have the fabric that I really want, which is the performance fabric that, like, when um, uh, liquid waste on it, the liquid wicks up and rolls off of the fabric, and it's stain resistant. They have that already. Um, the couch that I found that I loved at Living Spaces, it was a... A performance that like it was a durable fabric but it was not scotch guarded like already i would have to scotch guard it and then it wasn't um that stain resistant and the fabric that you know um you can like you know waste something on it and it wicks up so it's not they didn't have that at living spaces so yeah, so I'm going to uh, make my final decision here soon, I guess, because, you know, everything is back ordered. But at, um, I do not like this bun, but listen, that's just what I get for rushing. I should have did this earlier because I was home in time, but I just laid down to just like rest before tonight. But I just, you know, you rushing, that's when everything goes wrong. And I'm, I'm over this bun, too. I'm just over these braids as a whole. I should have took them down, but we're not going to go through that tonight. It is what it is, shit. Okay, let me stop cussing. So, um, what was I telling you guys? Oh, the uh, the sofa. So, yeah, um, Nebraska, Nebraska Furniture Mart, Jesus. Uh, as you can see, I'm very much discombobulated. Gather your thoughts, Shanita. Gather your thoughts. The sofa at West Elm, even though it's more than I wanted to spend, uh, let me make y'all straight. There we go. Even the so, even though that the even though the sofa at West Elm is more than I wanted to spend, I like the fact that they have the fabric that I was looking for. Now there are a couple of other companies that have the fabric that I'm looking for, but um, like one store was it. Pottery barn? I don't remember what store I went into. They had a sofa that I loved, but the lead time or the turnaround time, whatever you want to call it, was literally 36 weeks. Um, a couple other stores, it was, you know, around like November, September, even uh, Bassett Furniture, Bassett, Bassett, whatever. Um, I wouldn't get my furniture until mid-September, which, you know, I mean, I get it. It's a thing everywhere so it's not like you know it's just me or it's just these particular stores you know I know what's going on in the world I understand it that does not mean that I like it <laughs> um, but I am more willing to wait if it's what I want and I know that with me wanting a lighter color couch and having a four-year-old and just having friends and family and even me I'm a wine drinker I like red wine and you know in the event that I have a spill um, I want to make sure that you know my sofa is not going to look dingy <laughs> in you know a couple of you know in a year or so right so um i really just wanted that performance fabric so i'm glad that i found it and um with the specs that she put in which i have to go back and um look over and compare to the measurements of the living room it's so far the estimate is that it will be done the sofa will be delivered i think like towards the end of june which works because the house is scheduled to be done in July. But you know, right now there are delays with that as well. You know, so we're just taking everything day by day. In the event that the house is not done, of course, they can just deliver it here. And my sister wants my, my current sofa anyway. So I would just, you know, give it to her. And then I would have them deliver the sofa heat, the sofa, the sofa here. I mean, this is not, this is the only thing you see how that's buckling. That's why I need a ponytail holder. Oh my God. And it's 9.50. Jesus, it's taking me 10 minutes and the ponytail is still not done. Oh, Holy Spirit, help me, please. I'm getting frustrated and it's not even about me. It's not my birthday. I just need to show up and be supportive, which I'm going to do. But I don't want to not feel my best. I don't like not feeling my best ever. So...
I just, I should have did this, but who would have thought that I wouldn't be able to find my ponytail holder and that it would take me 15 minutes to put this dog on hair in a bun that I do all the time. Let me get my attitude together and I'm gonna come back. about to die um i don't know if i got any good pictures but i had a great time i got my mood together put some music on did my makeup um i don't know if i showed you guys my outfit hopefully i got a decent picture that i can show y'all but i wore this dress that i got from club l london i did a haul with them last year a sponsored video and i love this dress and i just hadn't had the opportunity to wear it so I wore this dress, the Lulu's clutch, and those Tom Ford heels that killed my foot. I will never wear them again. I am going to sell them. That killed my pinky toe. I will never wear them again. I will be getting the uh, Nine West version in gold because those Tom Ford sandals have to go. Um, but yeah, so I didn't want to pour a glass of wine. I did have, you know, my favorite lemon drop. I had two. I feel great, but... I'm going to have a glass of wine and I also want something sweet to eat. Mind you, it is two o'clock in the morning, but I want something sweet. I'm going to get something sweet. Anyway, let me wash my face, take my lashes off. That's the best part of the day. Yes, God. Okay. And I'll talk to y'all tomorrow because I really think this camera is about to die. I was going to do a nighttime skincare routine, but I doubt we'll get through that. Well, I guess I could try. And if it died, it died, right? Okay. So... Um, I take off my makeup, 
it with the elements i'll just tell y'all what i use i take off my makeup with the elements uh remove oh, oh this is actually clinique sorry um take the day away cleanse the day away girl whatever it's good um like i need i need to get another one during the sephora sale so i'm gonna do that and then i follow up and wash with this tasha cleanser because it's bomb and then i put on my retinol at night and then i use my vitamin c serum okay the camera is really about to die it's blinking at me so i'll see y'all tomorrow good night Good evening. Happy Tuesday. So this was initially supposed to be a weekend vlog. However, I am going to, I think it's my first local influencer event or maybe one of the first. I don't go to many. I feel like it's the first or maybe the second. Anyhow, I am going to an event with Western Sun Vodka and I'm so excited um, because they uh, they sent me, they, they sent me a couple of PR packages, but lately they sent me um, the cutest uh, Galentine's themed a PR package for um Valentine's Day and I have been sipping on they sent a, a bunch of little mini vodkas with different flavors like they had pear peach grapefruit and a couple of others and I've been sipping on those since February because they sent a ton and so they invited me to um, an influencer event they're having this evening and I'm so excited to go so yeah I'm in my closet trying to figure out what the heck I'm gonna wear it is 81 degrees outside and it has been raining it is so so humid and i don't know what to wear because i need to be breezy and cool and something light but i also you know can't wear certain shoes because it is raining so i have no idea what i'm gonna wear thankfully my makeup and stuff is already done i need to recurl my hair i had to shoot today i did take my braids out because it was beyond time but i did have to do uh film some content today if you follow me over on tiktok you'll be seeing it soon but i didn't bring y'all along for that because i can't show any behind the scenes just yet so yeah there's that but at least my makeup is done i just gotta touch it up i do need to throw some curls in my hair because i got caught in the rain a little bit and yeah i need to figure out what i'm gonna wear Gosh, I hate, I hate trying to get dressed when it's raining because I never know. I, I just feel like I can't be cute in the rain. And then, oh my goodness. Oh, y'all, I am so sorry. Girl, I had a Subway sandwich and it had spinach on it and it looked like there's some spinach stuck in my braces. So let me get my life in order and I'll come back to y'all in a moment. <laughs> Get away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you you guys i finally made it home from the event i am tired i'm sleepy and i ain't gonna lie i'm a little bit tipsy uh thank god they did provide lifts for us to and from the event so we were able to drink and have a good old grand old time but i'm just trying to figure out whose idea was it to have this thing on a tuesday because i have to get up and be a full on mommy mode tomorrow Jada needs to be at school on time i have to be at my workout on time in the morning because i have goals to reach <sighs> But it was worth it. I had a great time. The drinks were amazing. And 
Um, they sent us home with one of their little things of like a cocktail. I don't know. I have to show y'all in the next vlog. But anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, and again, make sure you check out Lulu's. Thank you so much to Lulu's for sponsoring the earlier portion of the video. Um, I will have everything that I share linked down below. You guys, I really, really, I enjoy Lulu's. I have a few clothing items from them that I've purchased on my own, but I really, really love their shoes. So make sure you check them out. Links will be down below. Y'all, I'm tired. Pray for me. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, girl. Mwah.